That's right, you guys. Starting it off with some uh, appreciation right there. Coming off last week's video, I need to come and pull it back and I'm taking you guys along with me on this ride. We are right on the border of Laguna Beach and Aliso Woods and we're gonna ride a couple of my favorite trails. Thank you to everyone who commented with encouragement on last week's video. It's not easy being uh, vulnerable and putting myself out there to thousands of people. So thank you so much for the advice. To prove that I'm listening, I've done a couple things since last week. One, I'm reeling it back appreciating the moments, pulling back the anxiety and stress about riding, getting back to the roots of what really matters to me and what brought me to mountain biking. Number two, I've got a lot of comments since last week about checking my suspension. So many of them that I was like, there's gotta be something here. So I went to uh, Gravity Bicycles in my hometown, Fullerton, California, and they specialize in suspension tuning. I spent a good couple hours just working the suspension on the Capra, dialing everything in from the tire pressure to the sag, to the rebound, low compressions, all the clicks have been figured out. We rode in the parking lot for like a half hour, dialing it in so we could see how things were working on the bike. And we also dialed in the Jesse. I learned so much. And I'm right now gonna drop into Rocket. It's got a long, nasty rock garden in it, and we are gonna see how much different the bike feels. Huge changes were made. Just the shock itself went from a PCI from 200 where I had it to 270. The tire pressures were lowered from 28, 26 down to 23, 21. I think it's gonna feel like a different bike. So let's get some riding in. I'll meet you on the other side, and we're gonna get a uh, in real time review of sorts of how the bike feels in comparison to where it was. Let's go. All right, here we go. The things I'm most curious about are the tire pressure and the PSI in my shock because my experience and knowledge base of tuning this suspension is very subpar when it comes to the details. Many like you, I trust the mechanic to help and I learn things along the way, but you kind of need like a master class in suspension tuning to really get down to the bearings of how things are actually set up and the perfect way to dial it in for yourself. Everybody's different. It's not just your height, weight, and the, the raw stuff, it's also your riding ability. Beginner, expert, advanced, intermediate, all that stuff comes into play. Here we go, it's the first real test. Oh yeah, it's sucking them up much better. I know this bike really well and it's never been on my side like it was just then. Like it's working for me completely like it's showing me the way. I know that doesn't make sense but it really feels completely different. Almost missed it that time. Talking too much. This is one of those features that you kind of have to know the trail a little bit because you have to know what's coming. You have to kind of prepare for the left hand sharp turn, a quick uptake right here. And then this is a step up that if you put your weight properly, you'll make it over there, a couple down shifts, and then you've got a little punchy climb right there. Who says hikers aren't friendly? A little help from new friends right there. It's not easy doing the uh, non-POV shots, so if I see a friendly face and I'm doing it, they're usually super nice about it. And they even have fun with it. It's 
where I'm feeling those tires. A little bit less PSI, a little bit more grabby in these SoCal conditions. Love this little section. It's another super bumpy fast zone. Dang, I love that trail. May not be the gnarliest, but it's fun every single time. So one of the things I wanted to check right away after the first descent, because the tire pressure is so much lower than what it usually is, is how the tires look. If you get these triangular prints going all the way around your tire in the sidewall, it means your suspension isn't accommodating for the tire pressure. Everything looks great. That means the tires in the suspension are all in balance and I'm very happy because I get to ride lower tire pressure, a little bit more grippy here in SoCal. And that is huge if you guys know the conditions here or just not anywhere that you want a little bit extra grip in those turns. So pretty. All right, for round two, we're gonna hit up Lynx, another favorite of mine here with the ocean backdrop and uh, that majestic mist. Sorry guys, so pretty out. I can't help it. All right, let's ride. I always like to start up top here. Lynx proper, I call it. You gotta run into the next section. You just have to watch out for hikers in this part. They recently turned this trail into a bike downhill only, which is fantastic, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna spot a hiker or two climbing up, because you guys know how it goes. People be creeping. Such a perfect time of the night to ride right now. Sun going down, they got a nice breeze. Soaking it up. This is the hardy section. Man, these conditions are so blown out already. The beginning of the summer here, these trails feeling like it's end of summer. There it is guys, ride complete. I'm a happy camper, suspension dialed and balanced. Everything feels fantastic. It honestly feels like a new experience on the bike. Thanks to Gravity Bicycles, if you're in Fullerton, make sure to stop in and check them out. They're professionals at this craft. If you wanna support the channel further, our next group ride is gonna be in a couple of weeks at Snow Valley with a discount on tickets. So hit me up on the other end of this link below and stick around, subscribe because I got new videos every single week. Thanks for all of your support last week. And if you missed that video, grab a hold of it up there in the corner. And with that, I'll see you guys next week. Over now. out.